So the coordinates of this point are 0.6 and whatever you get when you plug in 0.6 here, right? Now, negative 5 times 0.6 is negative 3, so that add, added to 6 gives you 3, and then you got to multiply that by 4t squared. t squared is 0.36, 4 times that is 1.44, add that to 3, you get 4.44. Okay, so it's 0 0.6, 4.44. And that fits real well with my 4.4 estimate here. Okay, I got something a little less than 4.4 than, than, than 0.4 when I did, actually something a little less, a little more than 0.4. Um, and actually it's a little more than 4.44, so maybe... Still, I'm going to stick with that estimate. Okay. I got 4.44 as well. Huh? I got 4.44 as well, but I didn't use it. Yeah, that's right. I'm just wondering if my estimate is 71 sixteenths. I'm getting like 5.625. Yeah, it's 4.375. Okay. Oh, just mental foolishness. Okay. If we plug in 0.7, we get a 3.5 here, right? Negative 3.5, which when added to 6 gives us... 2.5, right? Now, 0.7 squared is 0.49. 4 times that's 1.96. We add that to 2.5, and we get 4.446 or 4.6? Um, yeah, I've got too many fours in there. Wouldn't it be 3.5? Did you get 4.46? Uh, well, I'm still at this part, but wouldn't it be 3.5 instead of 2.5? What now? Uh, 5 times 0.7. 5 times 0.5 is 3.5. When you subtract that from 6, you get 2.5. And you add that to 1.96. No, I mean the times 0.7. I'm not going to worry about the arithmetic. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anybody get that? Everybody should have gotten that. Just numbers. Gave you plenty of time. Okay? Ah, uh, I see where the people are talking. If you didn't, well, I don't usually put time limits on tests, so maybe you'll live, but I think that's right. It's reasonable. You can check the numbers. You have to know what to do to get these numbers. Yeah, I got that. And to get the numbers, you have to plug the t coordinates in to the function to get the y coordinates, right? So if you don't know that, then make yourself a note to, you know, watch this video again. It's not all that long. And I'm going to cut it off before it gets much longer. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut it off right now because. Now that we have these numbers, tell me what the slope of this line is, or the, the, the slope associated with this triangle. What's the rise, what's the run, and what's the slope? In other words, finish labeling the triangle.